this is Benjamin Price reporting for Kids First, and today I'm interviewing Sam Riley, who plays Pierre Curie in the new film Radioactive. What about the script and Marjan's vision for the project drew you to it? I met Marjan. She was on the jury of a, of a film festival with my wife, and we got on really well. She's a very funny um, and cool lady. So I really wanted to work with her, and Rosman's one of our best actresses, you know, British actresses or world actresses. So I really wanted to work with her too. So it was kind of a no, no brainer for me, but I realized Benjamin that I knew very little about Marie Curie and Pierre Curie until I read the script and started, you know, we had to have science lessons and stuff. How's your science, Benjamin? That kind of leads into my next question, actually. Uh, so I know you both studied some amount of chemistry before the film. So, yeah. but what's over your entire career, what's the most valuable skill you've picked up while preparing for a role? That's a good question. I don't know how valuable they are, but one of the cool things about the job is that you do get taught stuff and get taught it really quickly by really good people. So when I learned to horse ride for a film, I'd probably sat on a horse like once or twice in my life. So on the Monday, I learned to sit on it. And by Friday, I was galloping on it, you know, and that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Sword fighting, guns, <laughs> you know, there's some pretty, there's some pretty neat stuff. I'm not sure whether sword fighting or riding a horse isn't very useful in day to day, but it's a cool, it's a cool trick to have in your bow. What is the key? So uh, Radioactive in many ways is kind of a love story between your character and Rosamund's Mary Curie. What's the key to developing a believable romantic dynamic with a person you haven't worked with before? Well, I think both of you have to really, and this happened with Rosamund, I think we both really loved the parts we were playing and we were both really admired them as people and, and the relationship they managed to have. Um, and it helps if if she's you know if they're good actors, because then even if they you know there's a lot of stories apparently you know this wasn't the case on this movie Benjamin I should say but with people who couldn't stand each other who really looked like they really adored each other on camera so it's, you don't necessarily have to but it helps but when you're working with a really good actor and you're looking at them and you believe what they're saying to you you believe them as the person and then you believe yourself to be the person and it there's not really a lot of it's it's a lot harder if you're working with someone who's not so good not that i've had that experience much but if you're working with someone great it's really it just it just happens really easy in preparing for your roles what did you find out about the person you were playing that was most surprising and how did that affect your performance i think the way he, he wasn't so much in the script, but the way he was raised by his mom and dad was really unusual in those times. They were, they didn't send him to school. You know, they taught him at home. He wasn't very academic at first, but they didn't put a lot of pressure on him. They didn't sort of think he's got to pass this test. So we got to make him understand this and that and that. They let him explore. They let him he, he found a natural interest in nature outside. So they said, okay, well, we'll let him play outside and look at the nature. And then he got more curious. And then the more curious he got, which all kids are, the more they realized he had this actually a really extraordinary talent for, for physics and, and numbers. And he was fascinated by crystals. That was one of the things that got him into it as a child. So that says something, you know. Doesn't don't, okay. listen, don't always listen to your teachers, Ben. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parents were the original homeschoolers. Exactly, yeah. Pre-lockdown homeschooling. Have you been doing that? Yeah. Uh, we had virtual classes. A little bumpy, but less work on my parents. Okay. Yeah, well, true. But you're doing this very well. Is this your, not your Thank first you. interview, is it? Uh, not my first rodeo, but no, hopefully I can not tell. my last either. No, I, I hope not. You're doing it really well. Well, uh, thank you so much for talking with me today. Don't forget to check out Radioactive coming to Amazon Prime on July 24th. This is Benjamin Price signing off. See you next time. Bye. This is my light. And I will win it.